everybody. Here with Emilio Nava from Planeta Reverb. How are you, Emilio? Hello, Ryan. Good morning. Well, still morning in Mexico City. And also, uh, hi, hola to all your audience and people of the, of the YouTube channel. Um, people that are, are new to this may not have realized I interviewed you about two years ago. But I wanted to kind of update and, and kind of get a feel for what Planeta Reverb does for the Mexican uh, surf community and as well as bridging the gap between uh, the United States and the rest of the world with uh, Mexico. Uh, so do you want to start us off about what you what you what you actually do? Yeah, sure. Uh, first of all, thank you for having me again. I remember it was one, it was one of your first uh, uh, interview uh, interviews. So, so glad to be back. And, and yeah, um, well, uh, Planeta River has been around uh, for probably more than a decade. So uh, me and my, well, I, I and, uh, and my partner James started, you know, this, this idea about uh, bringing uh, new music and information about other bands, other bands in the world, uh, 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 principally from uh, United States. Uh, to get in touch with the Mexican people, right? Because we, we know the people, the bands from the 90s, like Satan's Pilgrims, uh, Bomboras, um, all, 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 all those 90s bands. But but then the, the, the flow of new music kind of stopped, right? So, 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 so I realized that I was, you know, aware of many cool bands about good music, but people here in Mexico were still listening to the same uh, things like Ghastly Ones, uh, the Nebulas, all that good stuff we all love, but there was more, uh, you know, happening. So Planeta Reverb started, you know, as a project uh, to let people know in Mexico about what was happening in the worldwide scene of surf music. And, and, and that was uh, made uh, because most of people here in Mexico, uh, maybe they can understand English, they can read it, but but they cannot, you know, talk uh, like like fluidly. So 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 the the goal about you know Planeta River was to indeed connect the people, not just for the music, but you know for for in person to, to meet in person, you know, to to do that, and that also you know encouraged me to travel, right? You know, to to California. To meet our a good friend Jeff Hanson, John Paul, uh, Lorenzo, Surfer Joe, of course, and all these uh, you know uh, people wanting to do something for the surf music in their local scenes, but also you know to connect uh, globally to share the music and you know have fun. That's that's the main goal of Planeta River. Yeah, yeah. Now, not only do you spend your time uh, spreading the message of surf music, but you also play surf music in bands. Yeah, that's right. I started when I was a teenager playing surf music with my skateboard pals. Uh, and then I started in 2011, a new band that was called, well, it's called Los Grinders. And, and, then, I'm, and then I'm playing with uh, good friends uh, on the Strings of Lame. So, so next summer, I will be playing with the Strings of Flame on Surfer Joe, Summer Festival, on, on Saturday, yeah. So yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I'm kind of a big fan as anybody else, but I also, you know, uh, play in a band, and I'm like an amplifier tech. So, so for me, the music in general, and specifically surf music, you know, it's kind of my, my delight what I devote my time to. And also it's it's kind of the environment where I meet most of my of the people, you know, I'm friends with, for example, like you, right? So so yeah, I'm I'm kind of a, you can say the river junkie, surf fan, <laughs> and also uh gear gear gearhead. So yeah. So uh I really like the strings of flame uh album it's really cool and i had i had them on as well oh thank you yeah that's i mean i you know omar is the uh 
the mastermind behind the project. And, and I met him, you know, uh, probably more than a decade ago because of Planeta River. And, and we were, you know, talking about music. He was playing in other bands. So, you know, time passed and he invited me uh, to play rhythm guitar on this project. So, so we're playing uh, his, his, uh, his songs. He, he started it all and I'm just kind of supporting the band to, to, to play live, right? And we have an upcoming record, so, oh, uh, wow. so yeah. So, so stay tuned for for that new uh, music that's that's coming soon. Yeah. What what record label are you releasing that on? Oh, we are looking for a record label. You know, the the the, the first one, uh, Omar edited was on Surf Cookie Records. Then he worked with uh, Otitis Media, uh, but for the uh, vinyl. Yeah, but but now we're looking, you know, for uh, a record label because this is this is a uh, thing to be, you know, a uh, 10, 10 inch vinyl. Oh wow! Yes, so so we're looking, you know, for uh, for for the record label to to make it possible. Yeah. My uh my favorite variant is the 10, 10 inch. Uh, I'm super into vinyl, and ten inch is like special to me. Yeah, I mean it's. I think it's not that common, but it's definitely it's it's more than an EP, but not uh, you know uh, an album. So it's something else that kind of complements you know when 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 you have a band or a project, you gotta have seven inch, ten inch LP, and of course CD, right? And, yep. and some people extend and, and got the cassette. So yeah, so yeah, it's, it's a fun format. So. What do you think, uh, for the viewers, how do you think the best way is to communicate and connect with um, not only United States and Mexico, but um, um, fans and, and fans from all over the world? How can they connect with the scene in Mexico? Because it is huge, right? Yeah, yeah, it is huge, and, and thankfully, uh, we, we have, you know, we live, you know, as you know, we in the digital era. So, so all these uh, social media platforms that started probably a decade ago uh, was, let's say, uh, uh, the ground where the concept of Planeta Reverb um, w was built. Because if we are, we're already connecting with each other, you know, from maybe you remember High Five, MySpace. Um, yeah. Yeah, right. And, and in the past, even even in even uh, you know, longer time ago, with the Yahoo Yahoo forums, oh yeah, you, you know, and all that stuff. So it was kind of you know, uh, Planeta River was kind of taking advantage of these new platforms to connect people, right? So so for me, the the best way to connect people, you know, to know about the music, it's uh, Facebook or Instagram, right? And, right. and then. And then that's the the, the the starting gate for you to go into a, a website, for you to go, you know, into the Bandcamp uh, platform, for you to go into the YouTube music uh, uh, list or even Spotify, right? So, so Planeta Reverb, in fact, you know, has taken advantage of Facebook and Instagram to to make the first contact, let's say, right? Because, you know, probably just writing an email or just watching uh, the website was kind of not, uh, I mean, you're, you were getting the information, but we're not getting the feedback in a short time, right? Right. So, so, when, so when the forums came in, like Surf Guitar 101 forum, it was, a, it was better, you know, the communication you posted and maybe uh, a couple hours after you got your, uh, your answer, right? But, but now with, with Messenger, with Facebook and Instagram, the time between responses are shorter, so, okay. the, inter so the interaction and and the volume of of media or information you can you can share it's way way bigger. So so for me, uh, it's it's social media the best way you know to, to to start looking for bands, looking for the people, and to actually hear back from them. I mean like. When you write an email, it's like I don't know who's who's answering, right? When right. you 
But when you write, you know, for example, to Ivan from Madeira and he answers, it's, it's like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm talking with, the, with the, the, the people that's making the music I like, I love, and, and that uh, makes you like uh, more, um, it, it's, it's, a, it's a tighter bond between you, the music, and the people that is making that music. Yeah. So, so yeah, so it's, yeah, definitely, definitely uh, social media, it's, it's, uh, it's one of the best ways to communicate with other people doing what you're doing, right? Yeah, yeah. How do you, uh, a, a lot of bands use Bandcamp because of the, the community that you can build. How, how do you navigate the surf community on Bandcamp? Well, th th that, um, you know, that uh, matter is really important for me because uh, in, in my personal opinion, Bandcamp is the best platform for musicians. Because because probably you can have thousands of of likes or 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 listens in Spotify, but you're not even making a dollar, right? But when people go to your band camp and they buy the music, you are then uh, you know feeling the support. You're you know you're making the money to make more music, and and it and since band camp has a less, let's say, catalog than the Spotify or, or whatever yeah. platform, you don't get lost, right? You don't get lost. It has a better uh, classification. You can even get, you know, the, the, the bonus items for, for the music, like uh, the artwork of the, of the CD, yeah. probably some lighter notes. And, and mostly important, you can see who has bought, you know, the music, right? Yeah, and and you can connect with with that people also. So so for me, I prefer uh, and when I'm on Planeta River, I prefer to share you know balance count links rather than Spotify or other platform links. That's uh, that's really important uh, in in that aspect, right? Because it's it's cool that people know your music. It's cool that they enjoy it. It's cool that they got it on their playlist, but. Uh, you know, like realistically, you're not getting any money about of that. So if you want to keep on doing more stuff and more stuff, you really need, you know, to, to get something back so you can still uh, keep the operation running. Yeah. I think the exposure on Bandcamp is a lot more as well. Well, well yeah. And, and also another important thing is like uh, you, can, you can get exposure, you know, in a massive volume. But probably most of those those people are just gonna be one time listeners, right? But people on people on on Bandcamp they get hooked. I mean, they they have like a deeper sense of appreciation of what the music and the concept of the band is about. That's my yeah. my perception on that. And you could directly message the band from their Bandcamp site. Yeah, exactly, and they can message you with their uh, latest uh, releases, new merch. Or just also show uh, show uh, advertisements and all and all that kind of stuff, right? Yeah. And and and, and in this same note, um, it's it's how Planeta River connects to to the bands, right? And, and when a and when a band says, "Hey, Emilio, you, you think we can do some shows in Mexico?" I'm 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 glad to say, yeah, I can help you, right? Because. I know about logistics. I I put up some shows, and I can get you some gigs, right? So so in the past, we um, I mean I'm glad to say that in the past, uh, good friends and good bands have come to Mexico to play, to play live for the people, and Planeta River uh, has been helping them to make that possible, uh, starting for you know the the first contact to. To, to make them uh, feel secure about coming to Mexico, to provide them with the logistics, the gear, and you know, and the uh, and the uh, and the show itself. So, so it's been really uh, satisfying and, and and actually fun to 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 work with some bands in the past, like for example, uh, King Pelican from Texas, Charades from Finland. Uh, we also got. Brady was four uh, from um, Italy. Italy. Uh, recently, 
we got the los frenéticos from argentina ah, yeah yeah and, and also planeta river can can make collaboration with other people you know bringing surf bands to mexico so so for sure you have heard about the wild of fest yeah i just saw it today actually yeah exactly so 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 that was esteban from los Acapulco, but in his uh booking let's say booking mood he he and his partner uh work on the festival he bring he bring uh, you know bands like phantom four bomboras phantom surfers satan pilgrims mana rastrumen five six seven eight you know a, a bunch of bands and, and and i'm always glad you know to help him you know to maybe get, uh, hosting uh, some yeah you know you know taking care of the people right that that's coming to, yeah. to play in mexico and and of course it's it's not like a hassle or nothing like that because it's like uh, you know having fun with friends it's 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 really cool it's it's kind of yeah. the same when i i go to california you also got that experience that you that you i mean you feel like someone's taking care of you but yeah. you're, you're you're feeling like at home that's that that's that's also another uh, let's say another uh, the face of Planeta River, we, we provide also the, let's say, the, the social media interaction, yeah. but, but also personally, physically, uh, I, you know, I get into the action about for helping the bands and all, all that stuff. And, and also in the past, uh, I was uh, co-working with Niels from Phantom 4 on the North Sur Radio Project. You know, I, I was also doing a podcast, you know, a, a, a weekly show. So, so yeah, I mean, it's, it, it's, it's really diverse how you can, you know, you can collaborate, have fun, and of course, support your friends and the music, uh, you know, in a, let's say in an integral aspect, right? In an integral way, you know. One of the things um, from my experience of going to the SG one on one convention was uh, how they accepted me and took me in, and you know, like Craig Skelly and and Jeff Hansen, you know, they provided a place for me when you know it was almost impossible for me to do it on my own, and they took me in, and uh, I got to see a great bunch of bands meet the people that i talk with online and uh you know someday i'd love to come down to your festival and and uh meet you guys that's my goal is to make it to every festival yeah exactly that that's as, as you mentioned it's like a like a surf trip right when, when yeah. you get your board you get your stuff and you go to a, a place or a beach that you don't know but there are surfers there to help you and give you the, the little tips to, to make it the, the best of your trip, right? Yeah. So yeah, it's, it's surf music. It's kind of a surf trip. And it's like, like those um, stories, you know, about surfers going to, I don't know, to the Pacific, the South Pacific, and the locals embrace them. And they, they, they you know, they, it cannot be different right because if, if you if you had something in common it's 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 hu it's human to yeah. to to get involved to help you know and to bring the best out of it because i mean you know probably you'd also think that that if there's uh one thing that um justifies life happening it's music so yeah it, and, so, and uh, it's, instrumental music is crosses all language barriers yeah, exactly. That's that's also um, it's pretty important. I think most of the people communicate in English, but but you know when it, it's more about for me it's like okay we all talk in English we write in English, but but there's like a second language. It's like you play a Jaguar, you play Jazz Master, you play Stratocaster, you like pre bass, you like jazz bass. You like rich uh, drums, Ludwig, or you prefer more uh, rocking sound. So, so yeah, for, for me, it's that's the the real languages, right? So it's yeah, it's a language music. It's something you can visually see that you it's tangible that you can have in common with somebody. Yeah, exactly. Because probably 
you know, I won't understand you, but if you see, you know, you know like a, a amp, yeah. yeah, like that, you know what, you know what's that all about, right? So, yeah. so it's it's kind of like like we share as an identity uh, far beyond, you know, language and all that stuff. Yeah. So uh, before we go, uh, I wanted to to ask one more question, which was about your YouTube channel. Um, tell me a little bit about what your goal is with that YouTube channel. Well, uh, uh, that, that, that's uh, the YouTube channel exists, but I think there's only like two, two or three, um, two or three videos. Uh, remember, I told you about the bands coming, yeah, outside Mexico. So, so I was also working with people, you know, making videos, taking pictures, and all that stuff. But unfortunately, most of the of the media got lost. So, oh. so, 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 yeah. The, the the YouTube channel is probably not one of the let's say uh, most of the solid um, platforms. Planet Reverb is it's on, but but yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to to collaborate with you know other people wanting to to put, upload videos. And, and all that stuff, right? So, yeah. so, so also, uh, as you mentioned, probably, probably it's not that, that popular right now in the United States. We're also, Planeta River is on TikTok. Okay. So, so if if users that are listening right now like TikTok, you can also find, uh, you know, Planeta River on TikTok, and and uh, and I'm hoping, you know, to to have more. Uh, content on the YouTube channel in the coming years, because it's been, you know, 10 years about doing this, you know, working with people, having fun. And, and yeah, probably YouTube, it's, it's, it's time to make the YouTube channel more robust. And yeah, it would, it would give a lot of exposure to your shows now to, yeah. other, to other people. Yeah. Uh, we are also on Instagram. It's a we, we have like well we have uh, two thousand followers, but but these two thousand followers are not you know just followers. They are uh, surf music followers. They are hardcore fans. So if you are wanting you know to meet new people or or to know about more bands. I suggest that you check, you know, the follow the people we follow and the followers on Planeta River on Instagram because it's not filler. It's just, you know, people like you and me liking surf music, and 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 that's I mean, it, it's that, that's that's also another thing, right? Because you can have many views, you can have many likes, you can have many listens. But, but but you cannot tell really how much the people disengaged, right? Right. So 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 the whole process about for Planeta River is like when you know about the band and the let's say the the highest point is where you get the record because that's that's what really you know make these works, right? You know about yeah. the band, you can talk to the people, you can go to the show. You can make you can be friends with that band, but but the thing is like you know about the band and then you get the record because that's that that makes the circle you know yeah the wheel keep keep running yeah yeah and 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 also aside from promoting you know the bands I also like you know to promote the record labels because because if if it wasn't because of the record labels we would be like all living in the digital world. Yeah. So, so, so yeah, YouTube channels are okay, are are great. Uh, Spotify and and streaming platforms are okay, but you need to complement that going to the festivals and buying the records. So it's like uh, that's when the the magic starts to happen. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Well, thank you so much, Amelia. Uh, I really enjoyed reconnecting with you, and uh, I hope. Fingers crossed we can work together in the future to make uh, the surf music scene grow. Yeah, of course. That's 
and and and, and I and I and I think it's happening because when I go to shows or or hang up, hang yeah hang uh, with friends. Uh, they they mention, for example, oh, you know about this guy making the interviews from Pi Records, and I'm like, yeah, I know him. I mean, it's 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 Ryan, and they oh yeah, cool, yeah, I just discovered his channel. So so I think it's it's happening, and you know, like people, it's it's more about, as as I mentioned, it's not about you and me or or knowing Emilio from there or Ryan from from Pi Records. It's about the music, right? So right. so if people. Keep, keep talking about the music. I think we are we are doing our job. Yeah, you know properly. Yeah, that's, that's my goal is to to get somebody over here connected with somebody over here, you know, so that they can reach out to the band and say, "Hey, I'm playing a show where you live. You know, can can you put me on the show? You know, that's that's one of the goals I have." Yeah, exactly. That, that's that's a. Uh... Because because everybody wants you know to play and and if they keep playing they are gonna tour at some point so 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 if it's it's kind of re remember in, in school or, or high school when they were like uh, interchange students yeah 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 kind of that right like I will one week to Australia I I live in the house of of, of this uh, of this other uh, family. And, and then I receive, you know, the 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 boy or the girl in my house, and and that's how we connect. And we know, I mean, we we really we really know about the other person by, you know, by having a let's say a a, a, a deal uh, dealing with the person in 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 you know in in real in reality, right? Yeah. Not not just just through a through a screen so ho so hopefully in the future and i'm looking you know for that to meet you probably in the united states here in mexico or italy or wherever the sort of music takes us yeah you're going to uh italy this summer right yeah right i mean this is my first uh time in in europe you know to to be honest i i i'm not you know wanting to go to europe if it was not because you know of the music yeah. So, so playing with all these great bands that also happen to be good friends, it's like a, a dream come true, come true, right? So, so, so yeah, really looking forward, you know, to to be there, uh, to see Lorenzo again, his family, you know, all the the people from Italy and all 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 the European friends that have visited Mexico or I have met in California. So yeah. Looking forward to to that experience. Awesome, awesome. Well, thank you so much, Emilio. Uh, good luck on uh, this summer shows and have fun at the uh, Surfer Joe Festival. And uh, I know one day, um, maybe not this year, but maybe next year, we'll meet up at SG One Hundred and One. Yeah, sure. Thank you, Brian. Again, thank you to your audience. You know, uh, all the best and be safe.